everyone. How are you talking about drink today? You guys know our Guyanese men. Men. Help for the ass. Because they're men as well. Anything they want to do in their lives. You guys can tell me what they will do before they do it. Anyone can tell me? They will go drink first. They want to put the blame on rum. Rum never trouble anyone. <laughs> because if someone drunk and drank too much, they can never hurt someone. They would sleep and a dog will go and wee on them. That's a drunk man. But some people there think that they are alone and very intelligent, you know. They are the only one of friend. So any least thing what I want to do, you want to drink first. Because they want to do something and they don't know how to do it. And I can't do it just like that. So they prefer to go and take a drink first. And what is inside of them when you drink that will come out. That is why you have violence. Okay. And there is nothing you can do because you don't know when they drink in and when they will make problem. You don't know. That's the point, you know, that is it inside of them. And before someone violates someone, they have complice. Yeah. They never do it off at their own. They have complice before they do what they're doing there. So I think in Guyana, if police hold up the suspect, they need to hold up the complice also. For ease domestic violence, they must hold up the complice. And the complice will be near to the man, very close to him. Someone, okay? So, so long you cannot hold up Come, please. The problem will never stop. Because a suspect never want the complete name to call. And he'll never call complete name. So in Guyana, I think when they have violence, like last week at that wedding house. When that man, he killed his brother, steps on both of them. And the lady with the mother, with the wife, with the, the two boy, mother also, she's in hospital. And they hold up the suspect. But that suspect have a, have a complice. He cannot do it off of his own. Because the things will he come, please tell him. You can imagine how he, what is inside of him. So you have to go and drink and do it. In Guyana, if police hold up, he come, please, come, please, come, please. Domestic violence can be more or less, okay? Because Guyana, the population is too small for have so many violence and then also accident. In Guyana, it's hard to find someone sick and die. It's not easy. Someone passed away like that. No, violence, violence. 
Does violence have a calm place? All violence. For is this violence in Guyana? Police have to think about it. Okay? And hold up the complaints. Because I don't know where from India those people came from. What part of India? And the blood run through of them. And this way of life is not good. If you guys know someone that plays you, beware from them. Beware from them. Because nothing that you're hurting them alone, you're hurting your own self. Because when you have to go in that cage and close up there, is a lie for you? I call it cage. Okay? That is not a good life. You suffer in your own self. Because you have long to live, long to think, and you'll confuse your own brain. That is not good. You guys can talk with your complies not to tell you thing, and stop listening to your complies, okay? And stop following your complies. Because your complies don't have feelings for you, okay? Because if a complex of feelings for you, you should never do what you do. So I don't know what the police will think about this and try to hold up complex. You guys don't ever forget, don't anger with me. Eh? I just think about something because we are human and you also human, okay? You cannot spend your time in a cage. Come on, this world is so beautiful. You can do something for yourself. Don't listen, complies. Complies will put you in a cage. And what will become of your family or other people, what you hurt? Hmm? And you never open your mouth and talk who is a complice? Come on. <laughs> You guys, if you cannot call the complete name, please don't know what you're doing, okay? Hope you guys enjoy me. Bye-bye. Have a great day.